Hello, so today is going to be a different kind of video. Like I said, I wanted to expand my channel. Instead of just talking about deafness, I want to talk about also like feminism stuff and mental health stuff, sex and relationships, you know, just really anything that's relevant to me. So I thought it would be a good idea to do a response video, sort of, or like a little branch of a series that one of my favorite YouTubers and YouTube friends is doing. And that is Hannah Witten's The Hormone Diaries series. If you don't know what The Hormone Diaries is, Hannah is basically, she spent many, many years, seven years being on birth control. And you know, she's off of it and now she's recording this whole thing. And now that I think about it, I'm pretty sure the newest episode is going to be premiered at the Women of YouTube screening at Buffer, which we will both be on. And this will, this video will go public just two days before that, so this is pretty good timing. But watching that series has inspired me to do a video kind of talking about my journey with birth control. Because I know my friend Katie Scarlett wanted to do a video about how birth control affected her mental health. So we're all just going to make video responses. We're basically going back to the old YouTube days when you can actually do video responses. Like actually insert them. First of all, did I take my pill today? Today is Saturday. I took it. Good to know. So I've been on birth control since I was 17 years old. I think that was around the time Hannah started there. I'm 25 so I've been on birth control for almost 10 years. So 8 years now. Yeah. My reasons for going on birth control then are only slightly different than why I'm on it now. Same reason, but we've added on to it. I'll get to that in a second. When I was 12 years old, I started my first period. And uh, during those years, I had very heavy periods. I had very bad cramps. I remember when I was 16, I had one of the worst cramps ever. And I was feeling nauseous. I was in the bathroom floor. I was up on the toilet and it was, it was awful. And so it was suggested that I go on birth control to try to lessen that pain. And, and so I did. I trusted a person to give me a suggestion and then I went on it. And I've been on it ever since. And after eight years of being on it, my periods have lessened. I mean, I always get my period, but the amount a period that I have is lessened. My cramps had never been completely gone, but I did get significantly less of them. Sometimes there are moments when you know it's gonna get bad. Birth control is a, a miracle worker. But the reason I have continued now is one, because of periods, because I just like the way it's been going, but also because I am now sexually active. I've been sexually active since I was 23, so about a year and a half now. And I am extremely tocophobic, which is basically like a fear of childbirth. I think that's the only definition, but I want to say it's also just a fear of pregnancy itself as well. We're looking, we're looking. Tocophobia is a pathological fear of pregnancy and can lead to avoidance of childbirth. It can also be classified as primary or secondary. Primary is morbid fear of childbirth in a woman with who has no previous experience of pregnancy. Yeah, that's me. So the idea of being pregnant scares the crap out of me and the idea of childbirth scares the crap out of me. For other people, I don't care, but for me personally, I no. It also has to do with my body image issues because I already look pregnant, but that's a completely separate video for another time. But they do, it. it's also a part of it. So having birth control as well is kind of like that thing that I need. So I never, ever, want to go off birth control for that reason. So the pros and cons of birth control, the pros is that, well, it helps. It's like a 99% chance of no pregnancy when using birth control and condoms. There will never be a moment when there's only one that is used. If, there, if there's not both in this scenario, I don't. I, it ain't happening. It's not happening. The cons is one, it costs money. I know some people can get it for free. But for me, currently, it costs money. Two, remembering to take it every day can sometimes be a struggle, especially when there is my current sleeping schedule, which I follow my boyfriend's sleeping schedule while I'm in Toronto, really, because he works graveyard shift, basically. So we're always in way too late. My normal time is noon, and lately I've been taking it during the three hour window, which is like anywhere from 12 to three. And sometimes I do end up forgetting to take it, which can be bad. I know there's stuff like the shot and the IUD and I, I've looked, I've done a little bit of research on it. I never really considered having it. I think one, I hate needles and two, I feel like it would be weird having something up my vagina permanently or semi-permanently because you take it out and replace it or whatever. So really that's that. So you have Hannah who 
after seven years of being on birth control, doesn't want to be on birth control anymore, which I don't understand because she hadn't had a period in seven years, so she, she wants to experience a period and let her body do what it's supposed to do naturally. Me, I am just too tocophobic for that to happen. Even if my periods before birth control were not as much as they would have been without it, or if I didn't have, you know, cramps that would hurt the heck out of me, I just, the tocophobia is too real. So yes, my boyfriend is in a relationship with a woman who's extremely tocophobic and wants no biological children. If there was biological children involved, somebody's gonna be a surrogate or something. Like, it's, it's just not happening over here. <laughs> so yeah, if you are somebody who's been on birth control for a while, let me know what you use, how long have you been on it, what do you use it for? We can, we can just talk about these fancy little expensive pills. Well, 10 bucks a month isn't that expensive, but you used to get them for like three packs for $10 before we had to change insurance. Damn. If you want to follow me on all my social media links, that will be down below. If you want to support me on Patreon Monthly and get fun stuff along with perks, link to that will be down below. Or if you prefer coffee, which is like a little tip jar, link to that also down below. I upload every Monday and Thursday unless otherwise stated, and I will see you later.